Yeah, Pedro, um, tough loss last week. Coach talked about you guys just looking better in practice this week and bounce back. How do you just kind of forget a tough loss like that on the road, 5 nothing, a man down for most of the match uh, as you guys get ready for Nashville? Well, we don't forget. I think uh, we have to learn from that game. Uh, obviously, it was a lot of things that we didn't do well, and we have to correct for the for the the next game and for the future. So, we we are working um, to get better uh, because we know that we can do better, obviously. Uh, and the next game we play at home, we have to get the three wins to to break this these losses and also to give more confidence for the team. Too. Only five or six points out of a playoff spot. Does that kind of give you guys a sense of just some confidence that if you guys take care of business in the upcoming weeks that you guys can be back in the mix of these things? Yes, we know in this league like uh, two, three wins in a row like change a lot, a lot. So obviously we are on the bottom of the table, but if we get like two wins in the next two games, we probably go to the playoffs or close to the, to the playoffs. Obviously we know that uh, we are close, and this is why, I, why we believe, and we are working hard to to get back you know, on the track to the to the to the playoffs. What are you seeing from Nashville? Uh, you know, what are you guys preparing for when it comes to them, especially you guys defensively? Yeah, we know they they are a, they are a good team. Uh, they are doing like good seasons in the past. Uh, they have individual players that can make the difference. Obviously, we have to to be aware of that. Uh, but also, we have to to think in ourselves too. I think if we if we do what we have to do defensively, uh, stop the individual mistakes um, and score the, the, the chance that we have, we'll be more prepared to win the game. Uh, I believe that even we know that they are a good team, we can, we can get the three points. Now I'll take some from Zoom. We'll go to Dave Johnson. Hi, Pedro. Uh, also, it's important very difficult times that a team stays together. Can you give us some insight of how it is with this group of players as you as you're dealing with a difficult stretch in terms of mentally? Yeah, we have a, a really good group, uh, and we are, we are together. Uh, and this is why we believe that we can we can pass this this situation. Uh, and we have like uh, the players that are coming back for injuries, so we have like. Almost a full squad, a squad again that bring us more confidence for for the next games, and we are together like as always. And, and you know, again, you have a home game now, and, and if you're talking to fans, it, what gives you encouragement? Obviously, don't, not last week doesn't, but in general, the way you're playing, uh, what does Pedro Santos say? You know what? I like what we're doing, and 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 this specifically will lead us to three points. I think it's exactly what we did in the past. Fight since the first minute to the to the last one. Uh, I think when everybody know what to do and uh, we are ready for the game, running and fight for the teammate, we are closer to the to win the game. And we have d we have done that in in the past. Uh, in the last game, I don't know if it was like because the team was a little bit tired. I don't know if it was the the heat. Uh, I think we didn't fight enough um, for the for the game. Uh, but at home, we always want to, to fight for the three points, and I believe that we will be ready for the game. Thanks. Good luck. Thank we'll go to Bruce Murray. Enough here. Bruce, you're, mu you're muted. Sorry, Pedro. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Great. Yeah, just wanted to go back a couple of weeks to your... To your uh, incredibly well-struck uh, free kick over the wall. Um, when, when you score a goal like that, how much does it mean? Obviously, you're going to be on free kicks now for a while, so, so maybe you put a couple in the stands, but uh, how does that feel? What does, it, what does it mean to you? Yeah, always, <laughs> for me, it's always good to, to score a goal, um, and especially in free kicks, it's that uh, everybody thinks that it's easy to score free kicks, but it's not. It's not. It's not that easy. Um, and like you said, I, I don't have like too many chances to 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 hit the the free kicks in the games. Um, in the last games, I just have one, uh, and it's a thing that we need to 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 take time and practice. Uh, but wasn't wasn't like by lucky because on the the, the day before. Uh, 
of the game, I was uh, taking some free kicks in the training and I scored three or four in a row. Uh, so in the game, I was confident that I couldn't couldn't score the goal. This is why I I take the shot. Uh, and I'm glad that I scored and I helped the team to, to take the, at least one point in the, from that game. Great. Thank you, Pedro. You're welcome. We'll go to Byron Parrish. Hey, Pedro, thank you so much for your time and you spoke about the scoring goals. Can you talk about uh, Martin Rodriguez and Irani and yourself in the midfield trying to put some offense on the board to help the forwards and how important it is for other guys to get involved, some of your teammates too? Yeah, first I'm I'm very happy for a special former team. Uh, he's his first goal from the club, uh, and he's back from uh, a long injury. So I I'm very happy for him that he's playing and he he scored a scored a goal. It's it's good to see him feel happy now again. Um, but yeah, I agree. I think um, we have Christian with uh, with 13 or 14 goals. I don't know, and we have a couple of players with just two goals. I think. We have to to find other players to score a goal because if Christian can score in one game, that can ha that happens because he can't score every game. Uh, we have to be able to to have other players that can do the the same job. Um, and and Gabriel is he's coming to the games and he's helping the team uh, with some plays. Uh, and I'm glad that he he scored a goal too. Uh, also, we have Ku uh, Ku can. He has to score more. Jared, he, he needs to score more too. So in general, I think everybody on the team needs to to improve um, and help Christian to, to score goals too. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll take one last question from Dennis Gomez. Pedro, muchas gracias por tu tiempo. Eh, solo te quería preguntar eh, si vos pensás que el, el club eh, pues ha, ha, ha estado pasando por un momento crítico ya luego de no ganar desde hace un par de jornadas ya. Sí, estamos estamos trabajando fuerte y mejorando las cosas que tenemos que mejorar para, para cambiar este momento. Sabemos que una victoria puede cambiar todo, uh, nos puede motivar para los lo próximos partidos que faltan y es eso que queremos, queremos lograr los tres puntos en los próximos partidos para, porque pues también tenemos un partido después en, en un par de días y tenemos que estar bien y motivado para, para seguir peleando por los por lo playoffs pero el equipo está, está trabajando bien y me siento confiante que, que podemos, podemos ganar uh, lo, no solo los próximos partidos pero como los próximos que vienen